what is up legends we are back back in hype watch another week another hype watch you know as always what we do in hype watch is we talk about the things hype for the week that i have found or just things that just have come out and there's a few things that have come out and some things that i have missed um this is going to be a really interesting hype watch so let's get right into it obviously i'm scion you know like and subscribe all of that good stuff leave a comment let me know what you feel and let's get right into it all right so first thing up we have is a shim or a skim however you want to pronounce it it's a platformer and like, it's very interesting because you like jump from like shadows to shadows and you gotta make puzzles and then you can only do certain things you see like you have a rotate so you have to um do it in a certain way and like that's cool like you control the kid right there like that this it's just a really interesting concept overall um i'm really looking forward to like the complete version of this game because you can play the download for that um but you also see that you can actually get in and get the uh, complete version i put in for it and you know hopefully i get to try it out and review it on the channel it came out literally yesterday um today's friday the 19th now um I'm, I'm just interested like it, it seems like a, a small dev team um put this together and they put a little bit of um, love and care into it like this is cool like the, the concept and everything it has mixed reviews right there it only has 11 reviews but i think this is a cool concept so i'm, I'm definitely gonna rock with it and i just want to put it out there and let you guys know about it all right so next up is time trekker now this came out about a week or two ago uh and i'm interested in this one as well and you see this one has mostly positive on it right now this is a roguelike and you can actually get powers and you know bring powers in and get stronger of course the same type of ways that you would normally do with um, a roguelike game oh, i'm interested in it because it has the retro feel to it and i like these types of games because they force you to get good like there's no excuses you you get good and learn immediately or you just gonna die basically I, that's just just it for you at that point so gonna move on with that um you also see that this is early access and it's only six dollars and 29 cents that is a steal right there that is good monies right there all right so arc survival now the reason why you're looking at this obviously arc has been out but it's coming to mobile the entire thing with all the expansions and everything is going to be on mobile i don't know how that's going to work i don't know if it's going to like i just don't know how that's going to work to be honest with you um all of this stuff right here is this is crazy that they're gonna um put this on mobile but you know we'll see if they can get it to work and it somewhat be decent and they can have cross play with that that'll actually make things a lot interesting for this um so i'm rooting for them i just don't really see how that's gonna work out next up mobile side we have a space minor galaxy tycoon um actually i didn't even uh pre-register that give me that uh obviously it's a city builder well space city builder and uh, i just wanted to you know put it out there you're just going to be mining and building spaceports and better bases and you know just kind of like going from planet to planet so you know if you, that is your thing it's a little bit different from the city builders that we've normally seen so i just wanted to put that one out there maybe uh, somebody might like it next up girls frontline 2 is actually coming and here is the homepage for it. This one, um, you know, let you guys see again um, and talk about it a little bit. There, her eyes got big as hell. <laughs> There's no men in this game, apparently, <laughs> um, except for like the MC. I won't spoil the story for you, but you, you, you'll get to see what happens. Um, but typical MC story is not that, not that you know, great or anything like this, but. I was shocked that this is actually coming global because it's not doing that well in China right now. And I already know it's gonna happen. People are like, it's a cash grab and everything else. And here's the thing when it comes to cash grabs, in order for something to be a cash grab, it has to be inexpensive to bring over. You don't cash grab something like this. It's just that's just impossible. It's not a cash grab. Well, you're gonna be cash grabbing to, to spend a million dollars to get back a million dollars. That's not a cash grab. Like, 
this game costs a lot they go white for right there on the right um this game costs too much to make for them to try to cash grab it they have to at least get the money back and hope that it hangs on for maybe a year or so so they get some type of black profit so they can move on to whatever next game they want to make or satisfy investors that can defer to invest in this game so it has some type of long-term growth so just be in mind when you say um certain things are cash grabs almost 95 percent of the time when people say something is a cash grab it's not a cash grab like five percent of the time yes but 95 percent of the time people are just saying it because they don't have a better term for the um the de definition of what the game is moving on forward uh soccer legends I, it, it it's it reminds me of the volleyball anime um the and then the soccer anime that that's the best i could say uh, i like personally i tried this it's like maybe i'll put it on the channel it's gonna be hype and then they, they was extra anime with it and you hardly did anything and i was like this is gonna make somebody happy um but just not me so but i just want, definitely want to put it out there let you guys see it but you know it's what it is devil hunter this literally is a rpg manager um it actually wasn't that bad but it had a lot of stuff that looks kind of from other games kind of because it's not actually from other games but it kind of looks like it from other games like this Bayonetta outfit right here on the top left, and she's actually using dual guns, but that's 100%. <laughs> like, boy, and you, like, if you look at these outfits, they all re they all resemble other games. I'm gonna leave it to you, um, but there, it's very obvious uh, with some of these outfits. Like four of them, I know where where the um the artistic um inspiration came from that's what I'll, uh, that's what i'll call it um but yeah you probably as soon as i say that you probably um like oh it's like that it's like that no it, it's like that it obviously just recently came out so if you want to um check this one out have at it uh but you know with these types of games like i always tell you just clone game rules and what clone game rules basically means is that the game may not or it may be around for a long time because sometimes stuff be clone game rules and it just be fit be there forever so yeah that's roof survival yeah i know you're like damn so i'm putting up an apple game like, yeah um not very often but i was definitely told that this one is a very good game a very lit game um on um iphone i actually um you know the person i hang out with a lot they play it it just came out and i was like all right no i'll mention it. i obviously can't play it and record it because apple is just apple and yeah so you know have at it um xfil loot and extract uh this game is kind of cool it reminds me of smash tv and you guys know historically whenever a game reminds me of smash tv it usually ends up being fire um, now I only played a little bit of this. Um, obviously, um, we just I kind of like lean, fell back a little bit on mobile gaming reviews because I wanted to find stuff that was like you know super super worth your time. Very hard to do that these days, if at all, which is very sad to say. But the mobile industry is just dried up and died at this point. If it's not like a really big triple A crossover type of mobile game is probably going to die literally like in a month or two and never be heard of from again that's just the way it is right now um it's sad for the companies and stuff like this you know i'm saying it like lightly it's not lightly when it comes to these companies it's been years of making these games just for the last one or two months because of the, the state of the gaming economy and gotcha right now is that people just don't have access money for this right now the economy like especially on the global side on like you know like the western countries like the united states mexico canada all that type of stuff economy's not good so it obviously we just don't have the money to just be wailing on on these games and you know far and wide the way that we used to there was a lot of ex, um disposable income before covid and then after that you can just like kiss all that goodbye um I don't even think it's recovering right now because inflation hasn't gone down yet. Uh, the, the cool thing is that 
the inflation on tech has gone down but our money or the stuff that we spend like how much it costs to get groceries and things like that gas that has not gone down so there's just no money for stuff like this uh dungeon raid epic shadow as you guys can see right here this is another one of a roguelike a type of affair i just want to again come in let you guys uh, see this let, it, let you know that it's here um these are the type of games that the companies are putting out because they're trying to give us stuff that is interesting and challenging and that is cost effective that they only have to spend maybe literally probably like a hundred to a thousand dollars on something like this and then get profit back of like a hundred thousand to a million which literally that's what happens so which is a good investment say, say you spent a hundred dollars to make this game and it blow up and you get a million that's crazy that is crazy but that's that's the type of stuff that's happening right now so that's every company is trying to, to do that at that point which is why we have so many games like this and not a lot of games like epic 7 or you probably won't see many st things like that that'll probably be like maybe three or four times a year outside of what china does because china just don't care about any economy china just will make like crazy games which we'll talk about at the end of this video spoiler um bleach soul puzzle for whatever reason k lab decided they want to make a puzzle bleach game i don't know y'all there's nothing else to say about that <laughs> okay so uma um interesting interesting enough it's weird I mentioned this before that Uma now cares after it's lost its luster over in JP. This used to be a three million a month game in JP, and it's down to like maybe if it can get there, maybe ten million. I might be giving them too much credit. It might be lower than that right now. Um, and it's weird that they did that and said, "Hey, you know what? Let's, let's go over the global." If they had brought this over, say three or four months after the explosion that had happened in JP, people worldwide was trying to play this game. They had to block other regions out because that many people were flooded into the game and stuff like that. If they had brought it over, then this game would be like 10, 20 million on global every month right now. It would, it would kind of act the way Dragon Ball used to act. Dragon Ball games don't really garner that much money and attention as they used to but if this actually did that back then it probably would be in a better state i don't think this is going to end well for them right now it's going to be people going to be happy i'm going to be happy i'm going to be playing it i'm not i'm not saying what i'm saying right now because i want this to happen i'm just saying in this current climate right now and the fact that they took too long to bring this over to global i don't see this doing as well as it did in the other regions just is what it is um disney pixel rpg i'm interested to see what this is actually going to be and do like is it going to be fun are we going to have to pay because you know it's a disney disney's not going to let us run around with mickey chilling like this got winnie the pooh right there i don't know who that's on the top right but it looked like we killing uh, something, some some slimes or something like that. Like this girl got a Mickey Mouse outfit. Dress up your avatar with variety of items. So, so that's our avatar right there. Okay. It's Goofy and Donald. Okay. Um. <sighs> I want I I don't know. I I hope it just doesn't cost money. I hope it's just a free to play type of thing and they got outfits and skins and stuff like that. Like what What is Oh he got shades on. I was like, what the heck? I thought that was Benny or something like that. I, I had to lean in the screen. I was like, what is that? It, I had to scoot the chair up. <laughs> anyway, last but certainly not least. NTE, oh, I saw I cut the sound off. NTE, this is the main page for it, so definitely come in here. On a, um, people actually, well, how do you um pre-register? 
if you click a book now you can see right there um you can hit this and then it'll do like you see mine is already done but if you hadn't done that already it will take it to a page where you can actually register this is the hype of the year because of how let me explain something tower fantasy is an amazing game it's just that tower fantasy became an amazing game after everybody abandoned it and you already know what happens in gotcha when people abandon stuff they usually never come back um all of this stuff that because i see people like oh my god this is like great and innovative and everything else every single thing that's an nte is in tower fantasy all the the sprawling cities the um the way that the combat is the, the car chase and all that type of stuff and the mechanics every single thing that's in the nte is in tower of fantasy um nte looks better though it definitely looks better and the character design is on point from jump and I, all I can really hope is that we can make our characters again. Because if we do that, I'm just going to be in love with the game. And I ain't never leaving. I'm just, I ain't never leaving. Just let me have my my um, character trait representation. And I'll be fine. You got me. I'll be doing content. We, we be there. Um, but definitely, this is a game that you should be reserving for. You should be paying attention to. You should be bookmarking. Everything that you could possibly do. To make yourself you know aware of everything in this game go for it so that is all i got for you guys right now um thank you for watching again um we're kind of like just kind of like just chilling right now waiting for you no know, good stuff to come out and again like i said i fell back a little bit on the game reviews i'm still reviewing i'm still pc reviewing everything else like that we know we're playing first um descendant we're playing triple z and that's kind of like all I'm playing right now between those two games. So if you like those two games, you know, stick around. We're going to have more content for them. There's not much to do on Triple Z right now because I'm at the end of story content. And it's just like daily stuff. And, you know, nobody really wants to see that type of stuff. And First Descendant is just, you know, just out right now and doing its thing. So that is all I got. Thank you guys um, again. We have channel membership. If you'd like to join that and get perks, you can read all that in the description and you know, leave a comment. See you soon. Happy Sunday.